Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy, and today I wanted to talk to you about a product from Steinberg Software called Spectral Layers. Now, Spectral Layers is a great audio editing tool. It's fantastic for cleanup and restoration. It does all kinds of magical, incredible stuff. But one particular bit of magic that it has is the ability to split an audio track that has been mixed to a stereo track into separate tracks. It can actually extract vocals from a mixed track. Now, how does it do it? I don't know. Uh, artificial intelligence, they say. <laughs> I think it, it might be a little bit of magic. I don't know. But um, regardless of how it does it, it's pretty insane. I mean, you can uh, separate... If you have the pro version, you can do more than that. You can separate uh, piano, drums, guitar, and uh, vocals, and also then a another track that says other, and it's just everything else. There are two versions of this software. One is called Pro, and one is called Elements. Elements is kind of a cut-down version, and I have good news for anyone who owns Cubase 11. You already have this. It comes with Cubase 11. Um, if you don't have Cubase 11, then you can buy Spectral Layers Elements for $79.99 off their website right here on this page that you're seeing right now. Or you can buy the Pro for $299.99. Now, I did go ahead and buy the Pro because when they introduced Spectral Layers uh, originally, they had a, a good introductory price, I guess, and I bought it and I thought it was great. And then when the newer version came out, I just stepped up to the next, you know. It was only 99 bucks, I think, for the upgrade from 7 to 8. So, yeah, I mean, it was just, it's just been a great product all the way around since I've, since I've started purchasing it. Uh, but now let me show you how you would separate audio from your tracks. Um, I'm doing this, by the way, because one of my subscribers actually asked me in the comments they wanted to do just that, be able to maybe do a remix or something from a track that they had around. I don't know if it's a commercial track or if it's uh, a private track, something that they created. Just a quick disclaimer on that. If you decide to utilize these powers for evil, we'll say, <laughs> which I don't really think it's evil, but if you decide to utilize the power to rip the audio uh, or vocals from a commercial track to make a, uh, a bootleg, of a song that's a commercial product. I just want to say I have nothing to do with what <laughs> what you do with these abilities. And uh, I'm pretty sure Steinberg has a similar clause in their, uh, uh, their you know, usage rights on the software, basically stating that, you know, if you do things with the software that they, uh, that should be not allowed and you get in trouble for it, they're of no legal responsibility for your actions. Uh, you know, but uh, just so you know, I mean, I'm just trying to cover my bases here. I apologize, but you just got to be sure, you know, you're doing your best to cover your back, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, my point here is that now, all right, let's go over to my song that I had open, which is right here. Uh, now, when you look at this song, this is mixed in stereo and it's not mixed great, honestly. Sorry. I mean, it's it's. 20 plus years old at this point. Um, I made it in 1999 or 2000. And I wasn't that great at mixing at that point. I could write music, but I had to have help getting my stuff mixed uh, at the time. And I've gotten a lot better since. But just to give you an idea of what the track sounds like. That little more volume. All right, that's basically the, the track right now, the way it is. Now, I don't have the original source track to this anymore, source tracks to this anymore. They've been lost in, in time somewhere. They were probably on a, a backup CD or whatever that got cracked or lost or who knows what happened to them. But uh, as a result, I have no uh, way, no recourse, no way to get these vocals back. So I can either re-sing this song, which I don't think I would sound the same today if I sang it as I did then, or... I could hire somebody else to sing it, or I can try this software out, which is what the point of this video is, so I am going to do that. So if I go up here, now I'm in Spectral Layers 8. This is, again, the pro version. I'm going to go to Layer right here. If I go to the bottom, it says Unmix Stems, okay? This is what we want to do. So we're going to make stems out of a stereo track. This is insane. I love this. I click that. Uh, yes, 
So now we see, do you want vocals? Yes, I want vocals. That's checked. It says piano, drums, bass, and then it says uh, other and non-destructive. So if you have the elements edition of the software, you aren't going to have these check boxes. You're going to have pretty much everything and vocals, or you can pick everything or vocals. So you can only pull out two pieces. I'm going to do just that. I'm not going to mess with changing it up and pulling up piano and drums and bass. Really, honestly, I don't need any of that from this song. But if I wanted to, I could just go like I want the drums. But it's a pretty basic loop. So I'm just going to go with that. Now, when I click OK, you'll see the little pro uh, progress bar comes up. It's going to go up for about 10 seconds. And when it's done, it's going to show us the two audio layers laying on top of each other as one pink and one blue, just like this. The pink one is your vocals. If I mute the blue one, it hides it, which is kind of nice because mute also hides it from the screen so you can see what's happening. These are the vocals from my track. If I play these, now, right. yeah, there's my rap. Now, one thing I have noticed, and this is probably where destructive comes in versus non-destructive. When you save these out, these sound all right. You know, they're okay. They're not, they seem a little washed out almost or something. But when I save these out, they sound better than they do here. And I think that's where the uh, destructive comes in. Because if, if we're trying to keep everything, you know, just tweaked so it sounds right, but we can easily step back, you lose a little of the quality in it um, until you save it. Once you save it, it, it processes it with the quality. But let's see here. So I'm going to unmute the instrumental. And now if I wanted a karaoke version of the song for some reason, there you go. Now I can bring the vocals back in. Oops, wrong button. But I could mess with this whole thing and remix this if I want to separate these into two, two separate tracks and work with these files. Or I could just take the vocals and create a whole new instrument bed to place them in. Um, and that's pretty much the entirety of the trick. All you've got to do now that you have your file out is go up to the top file here. Go to export audio of active layer or export audio of all layers. If you hit all layers, it's going to name them based on whatever the name is here on the, on the, right here on the layer over here. So if I go put this on my scratch drive, which is my kind of trash drive where I mess with things. Uh, and we will put this in Captain Energy. I'll hit that, select that folder. And it says 32 bit float. Yes, sir, please. Thank you. Click OK. And it will export the two files over there. Now, if we go to that folder, scratch drive again, that's where we were dance with me, Captain Energy. There are the files that we just made. Dance with me, I'll set you free tonight. See what I mean? It does have a, it's clearer Together here. We'll make everything all right. I think that's a pretty good rep. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with the way that that, that works. Uh, if you're looking to do a remix and you don't have the acapella, or you're looking to restore an old track of yours and you don't have the original uh, tracks to it, this is a fantastic tool to get down to the nitty gritty of a pre-recorded or previously recorded stereo track and tweak it, fix it, maybe remix it, do what you, hey, wow, that kind of rhymed. That was not intentional, but it was pretty awesome. Anyway, <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate you all. I hope this video is helpful to more people. Uh, I, I know it's helpful to a couple because they asked for it. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a great day and use this trick to make some fantastic music. If you do make something amazing, throw me a link down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you did like the video, by the way, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you will get future updates on what videos drop next. Have an awesome day. I will talk to you all in the next one. Be safe. Bye.